Yeah. So what I would do is I would just uh, bring her on the on the twenty meter circle somewhere, and I would um, for now don't think about having the neck necessarily short. What you want is the base of the neck that's in front of you to go down. So effectively. Yeah. So what I would do is I would just uh, bring her on the on the twenty meter circle somewhere, and I would um, for now don't think about having the neck necessarily short. What you want is the base of the neck that's in front of you to go down. So effectively. But just that's it. I would take a little bit more rain. Just have like a happy medium. Again, a little bit, just a little bit shorter. Actually, she can drop her neck really well. So actually, that might not be a problem. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. So effectively, what we want to do is, if she can actually canter like that, I need to stop shouting because I've got this thing. <laughs> um, what we need to do is just for you to bring her in a better balance from your seat and your leg, and not from using your your, your hands. Does that make sense? Okay. So what I wanted to do is start doing some little half holds, bring her in a shoulder in position but don't allow her to slow down and if she can come in front that's absolutely fine and you want her to come in front but I don't want you to shorten your reins and basically bring her up with your hands so there again she was falling she was drifting out to the outside so more support of your outside rein bring the shoulders to the inside that's it that's it yes and a little bit more energy so she keep a little bit better jump. But the moment, again, because you, she wasn't straight, she can't engage properly. So again, think of the shoulders more to your left, put her under your seat, that's it, and activate the canter. Keep her a little straighter through the neck. Don't allow her too much neck bend. And just bring her underneath herself and collect in the shoulder in position push her forward into the collection. Again, outside rein, outside rein. That's it, that's it. And collect with the shoulder fall position. Yes, there. And all you have to do is just repeat the exercise so that she starts to take the weight behind. But because you put her, the body, in such a position that she has to take the weight. Rain. But just, that's it. I would take a little bit more rain. Just have like a happy medium. Again, a little bit, just a little bit shorter. 
Actually, she can drop her neck really well, so actually that might not be a problem. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. So effectively, what we want to do is if she can actually canter like that, I need to stop shouting because I've got this thing. Um, what we need to do is just for you to bring her in a better balance from your seat and your leg and not from using your, your, your hands. Does that make sense? Okay, so what I wanted to do is start doing some little half holds, bring her in a shoulder in position, but don't allow her to slow down. And if she can come in front, that's absolutely fine. And you want her to come in front, but I don't want you to shorten your reins and basically bring her up with your hands. So there, again, she was falling, she was drifting out to the outside. So more support of your outside rein. Bring the shoulders to the inside, that's it. That's it, yes. And a little bit more energy, so she keep a little bit better jump. But the moment, again, because you, she wasn't straight, she can't engage properly. So again, think of the shoulders more to your left, put her under your seat, that's it, and activate the canter. Keep her a little straighter through the neck. Don't allow her too much neck bend. And just bring her underneath herself and collect in the shoulder in position, push her forward into the collection. Again, outside rein, outside rein, that's it, that's it. And collect with the shoulder fall position, yes, there. And all you have to do is just repeat the exercise so that she starts to take the weight behind but because you put her, the body, in such a position that she has to take the weight. Okay, the back was too sharp. Do you feel that? So you want to feel that as, she, as you bring her back, she keeps drawing forward into the canter. So forward a few strides, and I use this impulsion to collect her. Yes, that's better. She still is a little bit too, there's too much flexion through the neck. And they, they won't be able to sit and really take the weight unless she's absolutely straight. So again, forward a few strides. So forward, medium canter, three, four strides, that's it. And now push her, push her into the collection. Better. And also there, when you came back, you had a much better rhythm, yes? Okay, the back was too sharp. Do you feel that? So you want to feel that as, she, as you bring her back, she keeps drawing forward into the canter. So forward a few strides, and I use this impulsion to collect her. Yes, that's better. She still is a little bit too, there's too much flexion through the neck. And they, they won't be able to sit and really take the weight unless she's absolutely straight. So again, forward a few strides, So forward, medium canter, three, four strides, that's it. And now push her, push her into the collection. Better. And also there, when you came back, you had a much better rhythm, yes? Back into the collection is so much better. And then you can just think about bringing the neck up an inch or two to have it really at the right place. But I think when you school her, and before you put her in the test outline, that's the sort of exercise you have to do. So she really starts using her back. And um, now just do a little bit of travel, but keep forward in the travel. Don't let her slow down. Forward, 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 forward. Good. And now bring her, put her straight again. Again, the travel. You know your circle completely lost its shape when you were on the travel. So again, just on the circle, quarters in, and keep the energy. Good. Much better this time. And now straight. So when you straighten her, you almost bring the shoulders in front of it, yeah? At the moment, you bring the quarters in, and then when you straighten her, you let the quarters come back out again. So therefore, the benefit from the quarters in and the, 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 the travel is actually lost. So quarters in now, travel. Yeah, she needs to be more submissive to the bit there, to the um, bench. She doesn't really like it. 
So play on your fingers a little bit more so she's really soft. Good. And now bring the shoulders to your left to get her straight. That's it. Can you feel the difference as well? Exactly. And then you can't sustain much more even. There it just dropped a little bit, the quality. But from the travail, what you gain, when you bring the shoulders to the left, then it becomes a lot better. And again, a little forward now. Yes, that's better. And back. And then travel. And now shoulder in. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, act activate her a little bit more. Outside rain, a little bit less neck bend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I do the same, don't worry. So both hands to back into the collection is so much better. And then you can just think about bringing the neck up an inch or two to have it really at the right place. But I think when you school her, and before you put her in a test outline, that's the sort of exercise you have to do. So she really starts using her back. And um, now just do a little bit of travers, but keep forward in the travers. Don't let her slow down. Forward, 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 good. And now bring her, put her straight again. Again, the travers, you know, your circle completely lost its shape when you were on the travers. So again, just on the circle, quarters in, and keep the energy good. Much better this time. And now straight. So when you straighten her, you almost bring the shoulders in front of it, yeah? At the moment, you bring the quarters in, and then when you straighten her, you let the quarters come back out again. So therefore, the benefit from the quarters in and the, 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 the the travers is actually lost. So quarters in now, travers. Yeah, she needs to be more submissive to the bit there, to the um, bench. She doesn't really like it. So play on your fingers a little bit more so she's really soft. Good. And now bring the shoulders to your left to get her straight. That's it. Can you feel the difference as well? Exactly. And then you can't sustain much more even. There it just dropped a little bit, the quality. But from the travel, what you gain, when you bring the shoulders to the left, then it becomes a lot better. And again, a little forward now. Yes, that's better. And back. And then travel. And now shoulder in. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, act activate her a little bit more. Outside rain, a little bit less neck bend. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> I do the same, don't worry. So both hands to your little shoulder in from your outside aids. And just try to get her to come up in front by actually positioning her in that shoulder in. That's it. And again, little half hold, shoulder in. The energy keep the energy keep the energy and shoulder in bring the shoulders a bit more to the inside with the energy yeah it can't stall just because you know you put her in a more difficult position she's still straight so you still need more angle that's it yes yep yep keep it's quite hard work isn't it I find it quite hard so then maybe a little bit of travel Yeah, keep the energy, keep the energy. Canter, canter, canter. Yeah, and I think you would need to do quite a lot of that because I mean, that, um, the, the, the bending is not great, is it? So, um, let's just try a couple of times just to loosen her up. Go on the long side and do your travel on the long side. So you can actually use the mirror. Okay, the, tra the, the wall is gonna help you. But really put her in a, in a quite nice big travel position. There, yes. Yeah, and try to sort of soften on the inside hand so that you actually don't hold her there. Ultimately, you know, in a test, help her at home, let her make her in mistake. So put her more around your inside leg. That's it. And then straight and the shoulder four. 
That's better. I think I would do quite a lot of travail with her just because you know you need to sort of get her more through and a bit more submissive to the bend and it's actually the easiest there. Much better. Okay, come back onto the circle and see if we can get that travail as good as that on the circle too. Keep the canter. Keep the canter. Just um, ride the circle, absolutely, you know, ride the circle straight. Because I think also you get tight when you're on the circle. Oh, it, look, it looks like, you know, you almost think, oh, you try too hard to get your travel, whereas on the long side you just let it happen. So from your circle, just push the quarters in without doing anything else. Yeah, but keep turning the shoulders. Ride the shoulders onto the circle. Now you've got the, the wrong bend. You've got bend to the left. So ride the front onto the circle line and then just bring the quarters in. That's it. Put a little shoulder in from your outside aids. And just try to get her to come up in front by actually positioning her in that shoulder in. That's it. And again, a little half hold shoulder in keep the energy keep the energy keep the energy and shoulder in bring the shoulders a bit more to the inside with the energy yeah it can't stall just because you know you put her in a more difficult position she's still straight so you still need more angle that's it yes yep yep keep quite hard work isn't it? I found it quite hard. So then maybe a little bit of travel. Yeah, keep the energy. Keep the energy. Canter, canter, canter. Yeah, and I think you would need to do quite a lot of that because I mean that, um, the, the, the bending is not great, is it? So um, let's just try a couple of times just to loosen her up. Go on the long side and do your travel on the long side. So you can actually use the mirror. Okay, the, tra the, the wall is going to help you. But really put her in a, in a quite nice big travel position. There, yes. Yeah, and try to sort of soften on the inside hand so that you actually don't hold her there. Ultimately, you know, in a test, help her at home, let her make her own mistakes. So put her more around your inside leg. That's it, and then straight in the shoulder four. That's better. I think I would do quite a lot of travail with her just because you know you need to sort of get her more through and a bit more submissive to the bend and it's actually the easiest there much better okay come back onto the circle and see if we can get that travail as good as that on the circle too keep the canter keep the canter just um ride the circle absolutely you know ride the circle straight because I think also you get tight when you're on the circle. Oh, it, look, it looks like, you know, you almost think, oh, you try too hard to get your travel, whereas on the long side, you just let it happen. So from your circle, just push the quarters in without doing anything else. Yeah, but keep turning the shoulders. Ride the shoulders onto the circle. Now you've got the, the wrong bend. You've got bend to the left. So ride the front onto the circle line and then just bring the quarters in. That's it. So that's for, something for you again to sort of work. Yeah, because if you want to come towards your pirouette, you need to be able to do that. So again, you know, right front onto the circle line and then bring the quarters in. Just outside leg, push the quarters in, but keep turning the front. Keep turning the front. Okay, just do it a couple more times on the long side. It's so much easier. And then try to bring it into... What you can do is go from B to F and then from uh, K to E. But once you're at E, ride the circle in that travel position. Little collection is just getting a little free.
Okay, and then now just turn onto the circle in that position. There, good. Yeah, a little more flexion than the neck. So that's for, something for you again, just sort of work. Yeah, because if you want to come towards your pirouette, you need to be able to do that. So again, pour, you know, right front onto the circle line and then bring the quarters in. Just outside leg, push the quarters in, but keep turning the front. Keep turning the front. Okay, just do it a couple more times on the long side. It's so much easier. And then try to bring it into... What you can do is go from B to F, and then from uh, K to E. But once you're at E, ride the circle in that travers position. Little collection is just getting a little free. Okay, and then now just turn onto the circle in that position. There, good. Yeah, a little more flexion than the neck. Um, no, actually, what you're going to do is if you um, do from F. Start your, your um, what I want you to do, go into canter, and then when you get towards F, do a few strides of shoulder in, and then half pass a few stride, half uh, shoulder in a few strides. Keep just playing with that, so we can um, get the um, look at the bend and, and the submission of the bend. So that's just really around your inside leg, and not just um, coming you for a few steps in the half pass. First of all, just get the canter a little bit more quality. So I'm on the circle a couple of times for on and back. And remember, when you bring her back, push her. Now push, push, push. Yeah, she doesn't like it, but that's better. And once again, yep, forward. And then the collection needs to be forward. There, yes. Can you feel that difference? Exactly, exactly. So you need the collection needs to come from a forward action and not from you kind of trying to sort of bring her back. All you do is actually you push her more or just as much as for your medium, but you shut the front door. That's a much better counter. Okay, so next time round. In the collected canter, so collect a little bit, just a little free. So push her into the collection, shoulder in, and then half past a few steps. Oops. And again, shoulder in. Straight. Again. So there, the, the action is moving from the quality of the canter when you're actually doing it. Again, a little bit too much like that. Much neck bend there, and she's slightly tilting as well, doesn't she? Can you see that in the mirror? So, do a long side of travers, keep the jump, long side of travers, soft with the inside hand, keep the contact on the right, keep playing with the bit, a little bit. Um, no, actually, what you're going to do is if you um, do from F, start your, your um, what I want you to do, go into canter, 
And then when you get towards F, do a few strides of shoulder in, and then half pass a few strides, half uh, shoulder in a few strides. Keep just playing with that. So we can um, get the um, look at the bend and, and the submission of the bend. So that's just really around your inside leg and not just um, coming you for a few steps in the half pass. First of all, just get the canter a little bit more quality. So I'm on the circle a couple of times for on and back. And remember, when you bring her back, push her. Now push, push, push. Yeah, she doesn't like it, but that's better. And once again, yep, forward. And then the collection needs to be forward. There, yes. Can you feel that difference? Exactly, exactly. So you need the collection needs to come from a forward action and not from you kind of trying to sort of bring her back. All you do is actually you push her more or just as much as for your medium but you shut the front door. That's a much better counter. Okay, so next time round in the collected canter, so collect a little bit, just a little free. So push her into the collection, shoulder in, and then half past a few steps. And again, shoulder in. Straight. Again. So there, the action is moving from the quality of the canter when you're actually doing it. Again, a little bit too much like that. Neck bend there. She's slightly tilting as well, doesn't she? Can you see that in the mirror? So, do a long side of travel. Keep the jump, long side of travel, soft to the inside hand, keep the contact on the right. Keep playing with the bit, a little bit. Thank you.